because these brave men and women made the ultimate sacrifice to protect all of us. And thank you. And to all the kids, your, your parents, your dads or your moms who you've lost, they were out there so you could be safe doing the things that you love, playing, going to school, going to church, so we could go to the grocery store and feel protected in what we do. And that's why every time I see someone in a uniform or with a badge, I thank them. And especially this week, whenever you see someone wearing that badge, just thank them. You don't even have to say why. They'll know why. They'll know why. For the great community that you bring and family to all of us for everything that you do. You know, the governor and I have been to way too many funerals. Um, way too many law enforcement funerals. It's really unreal, and that's how I've gotten to know so many of you. And um, it breaks my heart to still see you. So much time has passed, and it still feels like I know what happened yesterday. And I pray, I continue to pray for all of you. I know time will make it better, but at least you have their great memory to live on and know that they sacrificed their lives to protect all of us. You know, our communities are safer and a better place because of all of our great law enforcement officers. And there's no more greater, you should be so proud as family members, so very proud, and as the children of law enforcement officers that your parent or your brother or your child gave up their life to protect all of us. And this beautiful monument behind us is just a reminder that we can all continue to use. You know, I was looking at the list earlier today of all the law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. Nine of them were my friends. Nine of them. That's unreal. And one of them was one of my closest friends. Um, the last murder trial that I had was with him three weeks, I think three weeks before he was murdered, and that was Ricky Childers. And um, the last significant conversation I remember with Ricky was sitting in the courtroom with him, and he was sitting there telling me how much he loved Vicki, his wife, and what a great marriage they had. And I had the opportunity to tell her that, of course, after her death. And I spoke to his stepson this morning, and I spoke to the granddaughter that he never got to know, because he was killed in 1998, May 19th. It feels like yesterday to all of the, us who knew him. But um, those people will continue to live on in all of our memories, and just be a proud reminder of the spouse, of the son, of the, of the child that you lost in the line of duty because you are all so special to us. And thank you again to all of our great, great law enforcement officers for everything you do to protect us. We love you, we pray for you, and thank you for your service and dedication. And I can tell you we will always be here to support you. Thank you so much.